we've been going to a lot of support groups. Very few women are there. Like, is it because they don't know that it's there? So maybe this would help the doctors to say when they're talking to the couple, there's help for the women too, not just for the men. There's very few of us. I've been to most of the support groups after my husband went to the first one and realized that we were invited also. And there's one leader and usually myself. Sometimes one or another comes in, but it's not, and there's 40 men in the room. So I think it would be important for the women to get there. I'd like to see more support groups for women. When we were at um, a talk about sexual function after you have the disease and this woman was sitting beside me, a lot of the things that because I went with my husband to the sport groups I knew about she'd never heard about. And her main thing was we should have some place, now they're dealing with how the men feel, how they react, that we should have a separate group for the women to deal with the same issues because we're on the other end of the problem. Uh, we listen to the presentations. It's usually two hours. There's someone who comes in and talks about diet or research or new treatment possibilities and then the men break into a discussion group and the women go to another room. And then we can talk but Sometimes it's very helpful. I find I'm very lucky because it's just active surveillance. It's not stage four. There was one person who came in and spent most of the time crying because her husband was stage four. Some of the information is really quite helpful. Some of the information was frightening. The genetic components and uh, treatment options, but overall I find it's quite beneficial and my husband appreciates the fact that I'm supporting him and being there. And getting to know what's out there is, I think, critical, especially at the active surveillance, because then when you go to decide later on you'll know what's out there and what you should be trying to do.